Welcome to another WLED video. This video will learn how to update WLED using two different methods. Updates to WLED firmware are usually shown as updates in Home Assistant setting page. First we will need to the check our WLED nodes before installing T-Update. As you can see we have two WLED node in our house. Since bedroom node is using the SEERG74's custom firmware, we will not update it using them. Instead, we will update the aquarium node which uses the official AirCookie WLED. If you can click the read release announcement we can check the latest Changelog EG in this latest release 0.13.3 Toki support for LPD6803 fixes boot issues on new installs and fixed flickering. According to Adafruit LPD6803 is a three-channel constant current driver and gray level modulate output, it uses advanced high-voltage CMOS technology, provides three-way, designed to meet the needs of driving function in the LED lighting system. Especially in the dissociation with a mutual gray level in the full-color lighting system. A typical LPD6803 liters ED strip costs around $31 in today's market. Click Changelog to check the complete Changelog for each of the current and previous versions. Currently, the aquarium node is on version 0.13.2, and we will update it to the latest which is 0.13.3 at the time of making this video, with changes mentioned previously in the video. On the Home Assistant setting page, select the correct node and click Install. This will start updating the official Air Cookies WLED firmware on your selected node. Choose carefully. Waiting and waiting and waiting. One eternity later. It is still ongoing. A few minutes later. The status will update to unknown, this will happen while the WLED node reboots for the update to take effect. If you check the history tab, it will turn to became unavailable. Now, as you can see firmware has been updated on the aquarium node to the latest 0.13.3, and the status has turned to up to date. We can also confirm this from the node itself, first check you are on the correct WLED node, in our case aquarium node, since we have only two nodes in this network, so can confirm this from the nodes tab. Where the aquarium node is mentioned as the current node, go to the info tab the firmware version is 0.13.3 Toki. Now can confirm that the update was successfully done. In the second part of the video, we will be updating the WLED firmware using the over-the-air method. We will use SERG74's custom WLED firmware for this update. SERG74 has designed a WLED Wemo Shield 2, which you can check out on his GitHub page. All information about the Wemo Shield can be found on the page. WLED Wemo's project, click Resources, select Firmware, click Wemo Shield, select the latest firmware's folder and carefully select the correct firmware to download. In our case, since I am using an ESP8266 with a Dallas temperature sensor and an OLED display, information for which will be posted in the link below, we will download the ESP8266 display in Dallas.bin. First check you are on the correct WLED node, in our case bedroom node, since we have only two nodes in this network, so can confirm this from the nodes menu. We can confirm this from the info menu too, as you can see room temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. And we are using the ESP8266 node, which we can check beside the environment. Click refresh to refresh the information displayed. Click the config menu and click security and updates. Here we will back up both presets and configuration. Click manual OTA backup. Click choose file and select the previously downloaded .bin file according to your ESP node. Clicking on the latest version number will lead to the latest official AirCookie WLED firmware download page. But we will use SERG74's custom WLED firmware for ESP8266 with display and Dallas sensor. Back to the firmware update page, click update and start the waiting process. Waiting and waiting and waiting. One eternity later, it will display an update successful message and ESP node will reboot. It is still ongoing. 
a few minutes later. You can then log into the WLED node and check whether the update has been successful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Please like, share and comment.